Welcome to week five of the Coasts and Communities Open course. During this final week of the course, we'll continue discussing one of my favorite topics, the role oysters can play in restoring habitats and bringing coastal environments back into balance with the needs of coastal communities. We'll also visit the living lab located in Wellfleet Harbor, where members of the local community and outside organizations are collaborating to restore the symbiotic relationships among salt marsh tidal systems, eel grasses, and shellfish populations. And we'll come back here to the very different urban setting of Seven Hill Co. to discuss how healthy fringing salt marsh can provide the shoreline with protection during severe weather events. This week, we'll also return to the topic of watersheds. We'll make a second visit to Julie Wood, senior scientist for the Charles River Watershed Association. Julie will define challenges created by the network of dams along the Charles River. And she'll describe how dams combined with chemical runoff from agricultural and landscaping activities contribute to the overgrowth of invasive water vegetation. Dams can limit recreation on the river and dams can prevent biodiversity that is necessary for a healthy ecosystem. During week one of this course, we learned from Robin Hannigan about geological laws and principles, the formation of coastlines and their rocks and minerals. This week, we'll extend those ideas and we, as we hear about glaciers from Jeremy Williams, a PhD candidate within UMass Boston School for the Environment. I've enjoyed being one of your instructors for this five week course. Our goal has been to pique your interest and inspire you to explore natural environments around you. We've gone to unique places in Massachusetts together. You've met faculty members and partners of the UMass Boston School for the Environment, and we've learned about their research. We look forward to hearing from you during this final week's course discussion forum and beyond. We invite you to maintain contact with UMass Boston School for the Environment now that you know who we are and some of the important things we do in partnership with a larger community. Thank you.